Jesus. Yes, oh, God. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, prophet. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Amen. Yes, yes. And we just want to say good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, God. Good, good morning, morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, yes, Jesus, Lord. our precious Lord and Savior. Oh, yes, yes. You, Jesus. And just Amen. glad to be your prophet. And how's yes. your morning going? I know you've had a few errands you ran. And so we're back here again. I, I tell you, uh, errands, uh, doctor's appointment, different things we did this morning and uh, and uh, got just a victorious victory in everything, yes. you know, and glad yes. to have that out the way so we can uh, venture on to the next. <laughs> Amen. Amen, prophet. Yeah. Oh, and just glad to be here one more time and uh, just uh, grateful that the Lord, you know, uh, of course, always has us on his mind. Oh, yes. but it's such a blessing. Ooh, yeah. what a privilege and an opportunity that we can have God on our mind. Amen. And God's desires mm -hmm. on our hearts. That's and right. so we're just thanking God today for coming together one more time and just to lift up his name and to give him glory and just put out there before him whatever petitions he lays on our hearts today and uh, pray for whoever and, um, and, and believing and trusting God. Uh, that he is going to be faithful and he is always faithful to his word and will never walk away empty. We'll always come out the better. Amen. In the name yeah. of Jesus. And as uh, before I got in, as I was studying this morning, you know, I thought about, and as I was walking too, usually in the morning, uh, just sharing and talking to the Holy Spirit, uh, I was, he brought back the little project that I was working on my, with my granddaughter. And it's, mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm sitting there the other night making a little clay figurine, uh, doing my best. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trusting the Lord for some creativity. And uh, so, but you know, it's so strange how I took that little ball of clay, you know, and just that scripture from the word jumps out. He's the potter, we're the clay. How that, yes. I took that little ball of my clay. God. And mm -hmm. uh, as I began to use my hand, Oh, and thank you, Jesus, for your hands. Thank you, God. You know how to make things take form. You know how to shape things. And as I took my hand and began to press in and began to shape and mold and push a little here, push a little there, pinch off here, pinch off there, and rub on it and smooth the rough places out. Oh, it began to look like something, prophet. <laughs> it began to take shape. Yes, and yes. It wasn't the real deal mm -hmm. because we know it was just a shadow of what is real. Yes. And so I think about it, you know, and I said, oh, yeah, God, you put us back on that wheel because we just a shadow. You want to perfect us. You want to mature us to look like the real thing. Oh, but the more I worked with it, prophet, oh, the better it looked and right. the more it began to take shape. So I set it up to dry. And when it dried, there were some cracks mm -hmm. in the clay. Yes. I said, well, they weren't there before. But I said, oh, yeah, God, that's just like you, God. I said, we can get some cracks. Oh, prophet, we can get some cracks in our souls. We can get some cracks in our hearts. We can get some yes. cracks in our spirits. Oh, and it takes the potter. It takes the hands of the potter to come in and said, I think I need to add a little more clay. I need to shape it a little more. I need to smooth them cracks out. I need to fill in them cracks. I need to fill in them voids so you can look more and more and more, fine tuning you, fine tweaking those things. Oh, and I said, God, I thank you, God. What a lesson, you know. I mean, we know it's in the word, but it ain't nothing like an, ex an experience, is it? That's so true. Like an experience a real live mm -hmm. visual, sh what they call it, show and tell. That's Boy, true. Thank God for the show and tells. That's right. I That's need right. more show and tells in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. I, God, I just thank you, God, for how you fill in the cracks in them dry places in yes. our life, God, and how life can dry you out, how experiences yes. out here in the world can dry you out. And sometimes yes. our own experience of our own making you know can dry out our lives amen, amen. And so thank god that he's the potter and we the clay and that the amen. potter knows how to use his hands mm -hmm. amen. and mold and shape and smooth all them rough places out 
So yes. I'm just grateful for those yes. things. But I thought I'd share that little story this morning and uh, just mm -hmm. uh, how it blessed me and, and how, uh, you know, the Lord is, uh, we're always a uh, process, you know, and uh, as you've talked many times about being, you know, uh, ing is a suffix and it's, uh, and it's ongoing. It's, it's in the now and into the future. It's in the now. And I said, Oh yeah, God, you're always molding and forming us into being. Yes. Yeah. Being who he is. That so is so true. Just, oh, just so many things. Mm -hmm. That's so up true. In my mind. Yes. Yes. We have uh, with us a uh, Valerie uh, this morning, and Valerie oh. says, "Good morning, mighty women of God. Bless God." Good morning. And you know, uh, Valerie, it takes a mighty woman of God to uh, know mighty women of God. So, and good morning <laughs> to you. And sorry, I missed you this morning, Val. But something was uh, up. I'll tell you about it later and everything. But I plan to see you on next week early in the morning. Amen. Pray for me, praise Jesus. And then we got. <laughs> Have a uh, Joyce online from uh, Kenya, praise God. And uh, Joyce says, um, she says, um, that's true, woman of God. You were sharing about the potter and the clay and everything. So she's just uh, in agreement with you, praise God. Amen. And so, Amen. ladies, we thank God for your presence and, uh, you know, and thank God for popping in, or hanging around for a moment or however long. We just thank God for joining with us in agreement. It is mm -hmm. so much to pray for. And yeah. God reminded me when we got on, you know, prayer will determine our next chapter. Yes. Prayer will determine how our next chapter will look. When we think of Israel, when they were in bondage, in a place of bondage in Egypt, it was because that the people began to cry out to God, that yes. God raised up a solution. He raised up a man. He raised up a deliverer. And we thank God today that uh, God is very present and answering our cries and listening yeah. and desiring that we would pray because he wants to intervene. He intervened in Israel's life. Uh, they had a new chapter. They had a chapter called deliverance, praise God, yeah. when God sent that deliverer because they cried out, because they continued to Thank pray. You. God said, I answer because there were those that were crying out, those that were yeah. praying. And Joy says prayer is the only way let me see. Prayer is the only way to get our God. Amen. He raised up a solution. If my people who are called by my name will humble yes. themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, we too can have our land healed. We too yes. can have a new chapter, a chapter of victory, That's a chapter where we see God do extraordinary things in our life, where he takes us to a new place of glory, where he empowers us, um, yes. where we see the more of God. You know, we cry out to God for more, but we want more of God. We want to see um, more of the glory, the presence, the beauty of God. We want to be in this pre in the presence of the King of glory. We need his um, voice uh, to be heightened in our life, to listen to him, praise God, because such a time as this we really need, praise God. Yeah. And we have, bless God. Now, I don't want to mispronounce his name. He's from India, I do believe. Uh, Shamoom. Uh, and so I'm just not going to go with the last <laughs> name because I'm not sure how to. Um, but hello, my brother. I know you've been, um, uh, you have been uh, after me to uh, come on and minister or what have you. And in the time of the Lord, I want to, but I just want to be on that right time, you know, yes. but we're certainly praying for you and God bless you. And thank you so yes. much for your presence and all the uh, videos that you're seeing and the wonderful things you guys are doing over there. You know, it's wonderful. And, you know, and what I love is we declare this today to be your next chapter too. Amen. that God is going to do something phenomenal. We just sense the hand of God coming upon you today and God is going to pour out his spirit upon you this day. So be yielded ground this day and be in a place of praise this day and let praise raise up like Judah and go before you praise God, because we are trusting our God to defeat the adversary to bring in the resources that you guys need over there to uh bring in um yes. those divine connections that you need that people yes. will uh be yielded ground that god can speak to them and they will do and release unto you to your ministry all those things that god will have them to release and we're praying god's protection and that the wind of 
health and healing, praise God, touch down like a mighty cloud upon you and your people over there, praise God. And that you be saturated with God's breath and with the blood of Jesus and you guys be protected and everything. But thank you for being such a warrior, praise God, uh, for the glory of God, praise God. Amen. Bless God. So he says, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then he has, uh, let me see, uh, praise God. Amen. God is good. Amen. So Cindy, bless God. If you want to uh, take the wheel, bless God. And as the Lord lead, however, you know, um, yes, we're open. You. And you guys, you know, if you're going to hang around for a while, please be in agreement with us. And you, if you have to leave, God bless you or what have you, you know, but pray in your prayer language and just be in agree because there's so much going on in the world. So many things that uh, done undercover and behind the smoke screen, but we need prayer today. Our world, our land, our people, we need prayer. All thank right. You. Oh, Father God, we thank you, God, that you've drawn us together one more time, God. All of us, God, us here yeah. online, Father, and those that are uh, in other locations, God, all across this nation, all across this world, Father, we thank you, God, for unity of the body. We thank you, God, for unity of spirit, God. We thank you, Father, for drawing us, Father. We thank you, God, that we have met our appointment today, Father. We have come, God, to this point in time, Father. We thank you, God, for this another day, God. We don't know the weight that a day carries, God. Every day we wake up, Father, we don't know the weight, oh God, of that day, God, and what's going to transpire in that day, God. Well, we thank you, God, that you walk with us. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, that your blood covers us, God, and our going out and our coming in. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for how you lead and guide us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for how you talk to us, how you minister to us. Oh, and we thank you. Those are precious moments, Father. Those are precious times, God. Oh, and we thank you, God, for your spirit on the inside of us. God, you don't have to do it. You didn't have to do anything, Father. Oh, you had us on our mind, on your mind, God, before the foundation of time, before you created God's space and time, before you created anything, God, that's moving, God, or breathing, Father. You had us on your mind. Oh, we thank you, God. You had a plan, Father. You wanted us with you, Father, from the very beginning, Father. Oh, the beginning is we know it, Father. And even before that time, Father, you wanted us with you. Oh, Father, we thank you, God, that you had a thought about us. We thank you, Father, that we can bow down today, Father. We thank you, God, we can worship you today, Father. We recognize you as sovereign in our lives. We recognize your providence, Father. We recognize, God, that you are omnipresent, God. You are omniscient, God. And we thank you, Father, for your forgiveness. A hallelujah, God, that you put on our hearts, Father. And we thank you, God, for forgiving us of our sins, Father. We thank you, God, for all the transgressions, Father. Oh, God, let us not take our salvation lightly. Let us walk this thing out, God, with fear and trembling, Father. We thank you, God, that you are drawing your people back to reverence today, Father. You are drawing your people back to fear and trembling, God, just to recognize who you are, just to recognize that you are God all by yourself, that you, God, hallelujah, God, are do all the honor and all the praise, and you will be honored. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, for humility today. We thank you, God, that we know how to bow the knee, God. We thank you, God, for drawing us, Father. You're always, Holy Spirit, wooing us and courting us and loving on us and, and, and putting your arms around us and hugging on us and loving on us and drawing us back to the Father. Oh, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for our destination. We thank you, God, for the path that you've laid out before us, Father. We thank you, God, that we own the straight road, Father. We thank you, God, that we're still in the race. We thank you, God, that it's grace that keeps us in the race. It's grace, God, hallelujah, Father, that it keeps us running. It's grace, God, that gives us the determination to say yes. It's the grace of your merciful son, Jesus. Oh, that we can sit here tonight, God, I mean, today, God, and say thank you, God. We thank you, God, for breath. It's grace that we have, we can breathe. It's grace, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, that we can say thank you, forgive us. We're grateful, God. Oh, it's grace, God. Hallelujah, nothing but grace. Oh, the grace of our Savior. Hallelujah, the grace of our God. Hallelujah, that's got all things worked out according to your purpose. And all things work out according to your purpose, Father. And for your good, Father. And for our good, Father. 
And we thank you today, God, for those that are listening, God, go into every household. We lift up each and every household, all that's represented here today, not just ours, God, but those that have come on today, God, and to share and to and to listen, Father, in the name of Jesus. And those that will come later, God, remember their households, God. Remember their cities. Remember their states. Remember their country, God. Remember, God, their families, God. Oh, we, God, ask you, Father, to go in. You know them by name. You know each child. You know, know each spouse. You know each relative, God. You know the burdens of our hearts, Father. These are some of them cracks, God. These are some of those cracks in our soul, God, that burden us. These are some of them cracks, God, in our spirits, God, that try to hinder us, Father. In the name of Jesus, when things weigh on us, Father. Oh, but Father, we want to yield it all to you. We yield it all to you today, Father. You know if there's sickness out here, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you right now, God, to go into these children's lives, all the children, God, hallelujah, Father, in this country, God, and the countries across this globe. Oh, Father God, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, God, oh, we thank you today, Father. Touch their little bodies, Father. Touch their minds, Father. You are a God of regulation. You are a God of order, Father. Oh, set their minds in order, Father. All of our children, all of our grandchildren, God, wherever they may be right now at this very moment, Father. Oh, Holy Spirit, wrap your arms around them. Oh, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, today, God, we ask you, God, to dispatch your angels, God, and just to encamp around them. Put a hedge of protection, divine protection, God, around them, Father, around their minds, around their little bodies, Father. Oh, and they're going out and coming in. Some children have to ride the bus. Some children have to walk great distances, Father, to get to school, Father. Oh, protect them, God, from dangers seen and unseen, Father. Something is lurking out here today, Father. Something is waiting in the bushes, God. Oh, God, to jump out, God, hallelujah, Father, and disrupt your plan and to interrupt your plan, Father. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bind that and we rebuke that in the name of Jesus, Father, against any of your little children, Father. Oh, continue, Father, just to touch their bodies, keep them healed, going through their, their uh, uh, respiratory system, Father, during this time, Father. Oh, go into their lungs, God, go into their nasal passages, God, go into their sinuses, God, go throughout their, where, however all of that's connected, God, go in into the bronchial tubes, God. Go into each and every part of their respiratory system. Father, shine a light on it, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, go in and shine a light and a laser, God, that will heal God. The, your light, God, is greater than a laser. Your, your light, God, is a light from heaven. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God, for spouses today, Father. Oh, we lift up husbands and wives today, Father. Oh, continue, God, to keep unity reigning, Father. Oh, there's, there's power in number in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, one can set a thousand to flight to 10,000, God. What can five or six or seven do, Father, in the name of Jesus? We need all hands on deck, God. We need all hands, all prayers, God, all faithful people, God, in the name of Jesus. Lifting up the name of Jesus, God. Oh, Father God, we need light in this hour, Father. Oh, Holy Spirit, shine bright through these vessels in the name of Jesus. Shine bright through these vessels, God, that we can cast out darkness, Father, and cast back the wickedness, God, that is trying to come into this world, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, and disrupt, disrupt and disturb your divine plan and your divine purpose in the name of Jesus today, God. Oh, continue, Father, just to put it in circle spouses today, in circle families today, Father. Oh, just put a, a, a wrap around each and every household, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, and regulate our minds. Keep our minds at rest. Keep our minds settled on the things of God today. Oh, and Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us. Continue to show us the way. Continue to increase our capacity. Oh, to hold more light in this hour, Father. Let us bring all things under subjection. Let us bring everything that lifts itself up against you, Father. Oh, let us bring it under our feet in the name of Jesus today. Oh, hallelujah. We need to let the enemy know at all times. Oh, and there's no rest. God. We're always in a battle, Father. Oh, we need to let him know at all times. You cannot cross this line. You cannot enter this space. Oh, this place is holy ground. Oh, you are not welcome here. You cannot come in. Oh, thank you, Father. We don't want bitter and sweet water coming out of these vessels, God. 
Oh, Father God, hallelujah, God, how can two walk together unless they agree? Oh, we want to agree with you today, Holy Spirit. We want to agree with your plan today, Father. Oh, continue to forgive us, God, of our negligence. Continue to forgive, forgive us, God, of our slowfulness. Continue to forgive us, God, of our uh, distracted minds sometime, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, but we thank you, Holy Spirit. You know how to pull us back and draw the reins in. And you don't have to do that, God. Oh, but Father God, in the name of Jesus, we call by your name and we thank you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, if it was not for you, Father, where would we be? Oh, and we thank you today, Father. We thank you today, God. Let each and every family, God, let you each and every person, Father, that knows who you are today, Father, reach forth, God, push further, push deeper, oh, reach out more, God, in the name of Jesus, have a determination today, Father to cast it all at your feet, God, and to get on with the business at hand, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, help us to cast all our cares on you, Father. I think I heard it said one time before, if we take care of your business, you will certainly take care of our business, God. Oh, Father God, let us have a mindset, Father, to trust you, to keep trusting you, Father, when it don't look like there's no trust around us, Father, when it don't look like nothing else around here makes sense, God. Oh, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, let us, God, look to you, God, from whence cometh our help, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, because you are all we have. You are the true and living God today, Father, and we thank you today, God. Oh, continue, Father, to deal with stress in the minds of your people today, Father. Oh, there's stress that has burdened them down today, Father. That's some more of them cracks. That's some more of them little, little places, God, that need to be filled in, Father. Oh, that's more, God, hallelujah, Father that needs to be addressed, God, in this hour, Father. Oh, God, we're lifting up these people, all of us, God, each and every one of us, God. Things out here can put you into some stress, God, and you don't even know how you got there. Oh, Father, God, then I'm talking about any of us, God, in the name of Jesus today, Father. We want to be real with you today, God. We want to be real with you, God. Hallelujah, Father. We are in need of help today, Jesus. Oh, Father, God, when we try to get pulled off to the left or to the right, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, sweetly, sweetly, tenderly, hallelujah, pull us back, draw us back in the name of Jesus. Oh, continue, Father, to let us do those things, God. You want us just to be, you just want us, God, just to be that branch on that vine. Oh, God, we just have to just take your nourishment, God, and just eat off of you, God, and you are eating off us, God. Let us have a, an exchange, God. Oh, continue, Father, you've grafted us in, Father. There's no reason, God, why we can't live off of you, Father, in the name of Jesus today, Father. Oh, God, continue, God, to speak to men's minds today, Father. Speak to our each man, woman, boy, and girl, Father. The minds today, Father, even teenagers, God, even little bitty children, Father, are in distress today, Father. Let us as adults, God, be kind, be merciful, be compassionate, and be a representative of you, Holy Spirit. And wrap our arms around them, Father. People need God. People need a touch today, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Who are they going to get a touch from? Hallelujah, God. Unless we touch them, God. you using our hands. you using our feet. you using our love, the love, God, that is penetrating and oozing out of these bodies, Father. Where else are they going to get this, God? Where, are they else, where else are they going to get an I love you? Where else are they going to get, hallelujah, Father? Somebody. Oh, Jesus, we need to represent you in this hour like never before, Father. Somebody needs to see Jesus. Somebody needs to see a ray of light somewhere. Somebody needs to know, God, that they're going to make it. Somebody needs even the little children, Father. They need to know, God, that there is security in you, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, you said if you be lifted up, Father. Oh, God, are we lifting you up tonight? Are we lifting you up today? Are we lifting you up tomorrow, Father? Did we lift you up yesterday, Father? Oh, Jesus, forgive us, God. Oh, forgive us, God, forgive us, God, forgive us, God. Oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, let us just take the time day by day and just say, thank you, God. Let us take the time, Father, and remember somebody. Let us take the time and just know that somebody, hallelujah, needs to see Jesus in me. Somebody out here is looking for Jesus. Have I got the answer? Have I got, do I show who he is? Am I representing you, Jesus? Or they just pass on by? Oh, Jesus, forgive us, God. Oh, Jesus, are they just going to pass me by, God? And they don't see nothing in me, God. Oh, God, got to do better. We got to do better than that, God. We got to represent you in this hour, God. 
Oh, Father, people need to see the light of Jesus in a dying world. They need to see the light of Jesus in a wicked and a dark world, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, the darkness has no problem pushing in. Let us give no room to darkness. Let us give no room to wickedness. Let us give no room oh, to evil. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, your light in us, Father, must shine. Your light in us must shine, Father. Oh, as we were talking about one time, Prophet, how the worst thing that Satan hates the most is for us to die. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Oh, God, we need to die. God, take our death, God, that you might live in us, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah, Father. Continue, Father, to go throughout the hospitals, Father. For there is sick people today, Father. They're in need, God, of knowing who you are. They're in need, God, of knowing that you're real. In the name of Jesus, Father. They in need, God, of somebody that's got the answer today, Father. Oh, science ain't working, God. This ain't working, God. Government ain't working. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus today, Father. Oh, God, hallelujah, Father. They need to know a living God today. They need to know a living blood today, Father. They need some resurrection working in their life, Father. They need to see some resurrection power in this hour, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And where are we, Father? We are, God, we represent you, Father. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for the transformation, Father. You are the way, the truth, and the life, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God, can we, God, represent the way? Can we represent the truth? Can we represent, God, the life today, Father? Oh, we need strength today, God. And we know it's only your strength, God. We need more death in the camp, God. We need more dying around here, God. In the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, continue, Father. Oh, God, that life will come forth. Oh, God, let the life in us not be overshadowed. The life, God, that's in us, God. That is nothing but darkness, Father. Let it not overshadow your light, Father, in the name of Jesus. We need your light to overshadow every dark place in our hearts today, Father, that we will be of benefit, that we will be of use, God, in your kingdom today, Father. Oh, continue, God, just to touch the doctor's hands, Father. Continue, Father. We ask your Holy Spirit just to touch the doctor's hands and lead and guide them. Give them the knowledge. Give them the wisdom to know how to administer the right medications to the right people, Father. Oh, God, and we touch each and every pill that anybody's taking today, Father. Oh, God, whether they be an adult, whether they be children, Father, we ask you, Father, to go in and supernaturally touch every pill that they have to take to put in their bodies, Father, because you said these bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made, God. Oh, you know how to take that, Father. And we pray over each and every pill, each and everything they got to take, Father, right now. We stand in the gap, God, and we ask you, Father, just to sanctify it, God. Sanctify it, God, with your, with your mercy and your grace. Sanctify every peel, God. I know this sounds foolish. Sanctify it and consecrate every peel, God, and set it aside for your glory, Father, that when it goes into that human body, Father, that mortal flesh, God, that it will do those things that it was sent to do, God. Oh, God, because you have put your hand on it. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God, that it will do all that it's supposed to do, Father. And we thank you today, Father. Continue, Father, to shine your light in the dark places in this world. Go behind closed doors, God. Even, God, in those places, God, where, where human trafficking is taking place today, Father. Somebody's calling on your name today, Father. Somebody's in a closet somewhere, God. Some child, some adult, God, some woman, some man, God, some boy, some girl is in a, in a place today, Father. They in a closet, somebody, some in somebody's house. They in a, in a basement in somebody's house, Father. They in a car, God. Oh, God, going to a destination that they didn't ask to go to, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we rebuke those things. We, hallelujah, cast off these things, God, on your people, Father. In the name of Jesus, we ask your Father to send your angels, Father, and hallelujah, God, to encamp around them and to stop this thing, God, hallelujah, and to intervene, Father, in the name of Jesus today, Father. Oh, God, hallelujah, Father. Nobody should live through that kind of hell, God. Nobody should live through that kind of torment. Nobody, God, hallelujah, Father, deserves to be in that condition, in that position, Father. Oh, Father, 
all those evils, God, those atrocities, God, those heinous things, God, those horrendous things, God, that the wickedness of mind, men's minds, God, would want to do, God. And want to, God, take that from somebody, Father, their liberties and their freedoms, Father. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, oh, we ask you, Father, to bind these things around them in the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, and set the captive free, Father. Set their little bodies free, God. Set their minds free, Father. Oh, continue, Father, to let freedom reign, God, in their lives, Father. That no weapon formed against them, Father, shall prosper, Father. Oh, God, keep them in their minds, Father. Continue, God, hallelujah, God, to make a way out of no way, God. Oh, continue, Father, to open up doors of escape, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. And we thank you today, God. We thank you for the prison systems, Father. Continue, Father. Hallelujah. As I heard somebody say, sometime, God, prisons are just a, a waiting room, Father. Oh, but there's many, God, that are sitting in the waiting room today, Father. We ask you, Father, to let them come on out, God, because there's a baby that needs to be born. Oh, God, there's a ministry that needs to come forth. There's some gifts, God, that need to be on display, Father. Your gifts, God. Oh, there, God, hallelujah, is a word that needs to be spoken, Father, that can't happen in the waiting room, Father. They need to come out, Father. Oh, so they can birth these things into the atmosphere. They can birth these things out into the world, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, somebody needs to hear from them, God, that are in the waiting room, Father. Oh, bring them out, Father. Oh, and we thank you, God, that they make their appointments, God. Oh, God, and rise up, Father, and saturate this atmosphere out here around us, Father, that will push back the forces of hell, God, against every one of your people today, Father. Oh, continue, Father, just to hear our petitions today, Lord. And I thank you today, God. We thank you today, God. We love you, God. We worship you. We lift your name up, Father. We are grateful today, Father. We are grateful, God. We are grateful, God. God, what a privilege and an honor it is to come before you and pray, Father. We thank you, God, that you will take even our foolishness, God, sometime even our childlike speech, and you will take it, God, and you will saturate that atmosphere with that, God, you will perform miracles, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, God, that you put it on our heart to pray. We thank you, God. We are grateful today, God, for prayer. We are grateful, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we should live out our, life, our days, Father. Let us don't waste our, our capacity, God, on nonsense. Let us don't waste our capacity, God, on irrelevant things, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. If we have to put out fires, if we have to take care of things, God, let us do those things and come back, God, and get on with the business at hand and get on with our assignments, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, continue, God, to put a press in our hearts. Continue, God, to keep that light lit, God, that fire lit in our hearts. We thank you, God, oh, God, that you are continuing to be faithful in each and everything that you do in our lives, Father. And we lift all these things up before you today, Father. And we thank you, God. Continue, Father, to carry us on through this day, Father, in the name of Jesus and through this prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your presence, Lord God. We thank you for your listening ear, God. We thank you for your kindness, Father. We thank you for your generosity, Father. We Thank you for this vehicle of prayer, oh, Father God. We thank you that you are mindful of us today, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you desire that we have life in heaven more abundantly, God. We thank you that you want us healed, Father, that you sent your word to heal us and deliver us from all destruction, Father. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord. We thank you that greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world, God. We thank you that you made us more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. We thank you, God, that we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. We thank you and praise you, Father, for blessing us in our going and blessing us in our coming, blessing us in the city and blessing us in the field, blessing us in this place, Lord God, blessing our family and our loved ones, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us to be the head and not the tail, putting us above and not beneath. We thank and praise you, Father God, and we declare, Lord God, this to be our next chapter, oh, Father God. Oh, 
Oh, Lord God, we cannot change what we've been, oh God. But oh, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the influence that you've given us, Lord God, through the power of prayer that we have on our next chapter, Lord God, and how you use us and what you do in our lives, oh God. We declare, Lord, our latter end shall be greater than our beginning, God. We decree and declare, Lord God, you're taking us to a new place of glory right now, God. We thank you and praise you for being mindful, Lord God, of those that have been on with us today, God. Mindful of those that will come later, Father God. Mindful, Lord God, of even those that we're praying for, God, that we don't even know, God, but you know who they are, oh God. You are omnipresent. There's no place that you're not, oh Father. And oh God, we break the power of discouragement today in the name of Jesus, oh Father God. Lord God, that people, Lord God, receive hope today, God. And we declare, Lord God, who you are. You are the God of hope. And oh God, those listening to the sound of our voices, oh Father God. Oh God, may hope overshadow them like great drops of rain, Father. May your hope burst loose today, oh Father God, and splendor us, Lord God. Glory, oh Father God. Lord God, may hope from the inside. Raise up, oh Father God, and know, oh Father God, and recognize that with you all things are possible. May we recognize, God, with you it's never too late, oh Father God. Oh God, you can stop the sun in the sky, oh Father God. You can do anything, oh Father God. Oh Father, we bless and praise you today, oh Father God, for this glorious next chapter, Father. And God, by chance, Lord God, we have any mindsets, any strong holes, Lord God, in our minds, Lord God, that are hindering us from going forward, that are hindering us, oh, Father God, from doing what you called us to do, God. Let those mindsets be broken today, God. Shine a light on those areas, Lord God, that we need to tweak, that we need to make adjustments, Lord God, that we need to change our perception, Lord God. Lord, you said, I'll keep the imperfect peace whose mind has stayed on you, God. Let us keep our minds in perfect peace today, God. We thank and praise you, Father God, for blessing us to keep our minds stayed on you, God. We thank and praise you, Father God, for the power of prayer. And that you say it, Lord God, right here for those that are listening to the sound of our voice, that the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. Father, we declare this to be a new day, God, a new chapter in our lives, oh, Father God. And we pray, Lord God, for your help help today, God, for your supernatural divine help today, God, that, Lord, you would lead us by the power of the Holy Spirit through this day, and you will bless us to take care of the business at hand, Lord God. Oh, God, somebody might need to hit that Bible and study today, God. Somebody might need to just read that book that you had them buy, that they laid on the table and have not read it, but you want to speak to them from a page in that book, God. Somebody might need to make a phone call and encourage somebody, God. Somebody might need to declutter and detox some things, oh, Father God. Whatever it is, Lord God, that we need to do today, let us be found doing it, oh, Father God. Let us, Lord God, at the end of the day, finish strong, Father God. Let us, Lord, at the end of the day, don't lay in the bed and say, I wish I had, I wish I I should have, I could have, I would have. Lord, but let it be a victorious sleep tonight, God. Let this day unfold, Father. Let it unfold all the way out, Lord. Let us emerge, Lord God, in your plan, Lord God. Let us come forward, oh, Father God, and do the things that you would have us to do. Let our joy come to a new dimension, Lord God. Let us dare not go through this day, God, empty, but let us go through this day, God, with joy, because you said the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we just release that joy, Father God. We're excited about your presence, Lord. We're excited about the God that we serve. We're excited about your protection, Lord. We're excited about how you draw us out to pray, Father God, because of your love, because of your concern for those people, your people, God, and because of what you see, God, that's going on in our world. You see things, Father God, that we don't see, but we thank you for the things that you are revealing to us uh, to let us know, Lord God, we cannot take anything for granted. We cannot take eating our food in this hour without asking you, Lord God, to uh, purify it, to bless it, Lord God, to protect it, protect us, oh, Father God. We cannot even think about drinking water in this hour, Lord God, without asking you, Lord God, to purify it, without doing the necessary things, Lord God. Oh, God, sometime on the news and like to 
today. Some areas have to boil water, Father. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, Father God, we ask you today, God, bless us, Lord God, as we go forward, as we go out and about. We cannot even afford to go out our front doors, oh, Father God, and think we're going to the store and think that we have a right to come back home, God. Oh, Lord God, but we thank and yes. praise you that we know a God in Israel that can keep us safe. We know God in Israel, Father God, that can protect us, Lord God. Oh, God, and we just thank and praise you for reminding us men ought to always pray and not faint. Let's not take it for granted, oh, Father God. Let us not take it for granted, oh, God, that, oh, Lord God, we can go and we can do this. And we, you said acknowledge you in all our ways and you would direct our path. Oh, God, we thank you that this new chapter is going to read different, Lord God. We're going to be a bit more mindful, Father God. Oh, Lord God, that this world is not our friend and things that are going on in this world, God. Some things, Lord God, the enemy has done, Lord God. He came to steal, to kill, and to yes. destroy. But Lord, you said, I am come that you might have life in heaven more abundantly, Lord. Thank you for reminding us, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God, in Jesus' name, that this is an hour to watch and pray, to be sober, to be diligent, to be alert, to be mindful, to be watchful. Oh, God, to stay tuned in, to perceive, oh, Father God, to sense, oh, Father God. Uh, oh, like, listen to that gut feeling. It's time to turn around and get out the store now. Listen to that gut feeling, oh, God, or whatever it is that you're putting on our heart, oh, Father God. Let us be sensitive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in this hour, Father. This is not an hour like any other hour, Father God. We're in a new place, Lord God. We're on a new playing field, God. It's a new game, oh, Father God. Yes. Help us, oh, Father God, to watch yes. and pray, God. Help yes. us, oh, Father God, to be strong in you. And in the power of your might, oh, Father God. Oh, Lord God, in this new chapter, Father God, we want you to be glorified. We want you to be magnified. Lord, we cannot be afford to be barren, having no gifts on display, Lord God. Nobody healed. Nobody, it's eye, blind eyes open, Father God. No peace, no joy, no laughter, no self-control, Father God. God, we need all your fruits on display, oh, Father God. You said, by this shall me and know that you are my disciple, Lord God, that we have love one for the other, Lord God. And Lord God, our fruits will bear witness, oh Father God. And Lord, we thank you for your presence, God, today, Lord God. Let this next chapter be said, that everywhere we go, we bring the presence of the Lord. That everywhere we go, we bring the glory of the Lord. Why? Because Lord God, let it be said that we are intimate with you. Let it be said that we spend time dwelling in the secret place of the most high. Let it be said, Lord God, that we eat yes. our spirit food, oh Father God, that man shall not live by bread alone, you say, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Let it be said that we are eating the word of God, oh, Father God. Let it be said, Lord God, that we're givers, oh, Father God. We remember to give, oh, Father God, as you prompt us, oh, Father God. Let it be said, oh, Father God, that we're obedient unto you, oh, Father God. Let it be said that we have peace, Lord God, that when we walk into a room, God, somebody yes. can receive yes. peace yes. from your very presence, Lord, that rests upon us, oh, Father God. Oh, God, we thank and praise you today, God. This new chapter, Lord God, oh, Lord God, let you be glorified through this new chapter, Father God. Let people look at our lives and see Jesus, Father. Oh, God, we thank you for your protection, Lord God. Let your hand and let the blood of Jesus cover today these families, Lord God, under the sound of our voice, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus over those that have jobs, oh, Father God, those that are going and coming, oh, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus over all our children and grandchildren, our spouses, oh, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus over our automobiles, our homes, our dwellings, Lord, over all that you've given us, Father, all that you made us stewards of, oh, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus over the relationships, Lord God. You bless us to have with God, our friendships, oh, Father God. Oh, Lord God, we plead the blood of Jesus over our minds today, oh, Father God, our emotions today, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus, oh, Father. And, oh, God, we thank you and we praise you, oh, Father God, and we bless you, Lord God. And we thank you for healing and wholeness over all the systems in our body. Father, yes. in Jesus' name, we declare right now, Lord God, that every system in our body is coming into divine order, Lord God, not only our bodies, but Lord, we today 
corporately, Lord God, declare that every system in the body of our loved ones are coming into divine yes. order, Father. We speak yes. wholeness because we know that by the stripes of Jesus, they are healed. We know that they're in insurance policy has been paid by Jesus. Mm -hmm. We know God and we thank and praise you Father God that you've sanctioned that thing that it is written Lord God in oh Father God the constitution of heaven oh Father God oh Lord God that you are the same yesterday today and forever. Lord mm -hmm. you're still going about doing good killing mm -hmm. all that oppress other devil. Lord even as we pray oh Father God let your healing vibrations Lord go into our bodies and everything out of order, God, everything that transferred upon us, Lord God, that should not be, God, that we commend to go in Jesus' name, go for my bodies and go for my loved ones and go from those that we're praying for in the name of Jesus, because Jesus paid a price, Lord God. Oh, Father God, that we be healed, that we be whole, oh, Father God. Himself took our infirmities. He bare our sicknesses for us, oh, Father. We thank you for the truth, Lord God, that our next chapter reads different because we know the truth. And God, you said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free, oh, Father God. But it's the truth that we know that makes us free, Lord God. So, Lord God, let us be knowledgeable of your word, have knowledge of your word in this hour, Father God. And, Lord, we thank you. We praise you, Father God. We ask you today, even as we pray, God, cover our schools, oh, Father God, where our children are, Father God. Cover those schools out there today, oh, Father God. And we pray, God, that you would cover, Lord God, those power grids that are set up all across this yeah. nation, Father God, that people will not be in the dark, oh, Father God. We pray for people, God, that are still in recovery, Father, from storms and from different heartaches they've been going through, Lord God. Lord, you are omnipresent. There's no place that you're not, God, and you know that one that's about to give up right now, God. You know that one that feels like fainting, Lord God. You know that one that suicide is trying to entice. We take authority over this devil of suicide and we bind it, break the power of it in the name of Jesus, we loose God, your people, we loose the people, Father, oh God, that may be, Lord God, in a warfare with this devil, Father God, in Jesus' name, Father God, we break the power of it in the name of Jesus, Father. God, we thank you today. We praise you today, God. You're awesome in this place, oh Lord God. Father, we thank and praise you, oh Father God, and we bless you today, oh Father God. We give you glory, oh Father, for your love and your kindness to us, oh Father God. We will not be out here praying, oh Father God, but you prompted us, Lord God. You gave Cindy, Lord God, a desire, Lord God, that somehow, Lord God, she sensed as a need, God, and you wanted us to come out, oh God. And thank you for giving us the grace to do so, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us the space to do so, Father God. And thank you, Lord God, for moving in the behalf of the prayers that you anoint us to pray, oh Father God. Thank you for dispatching your angels, Lord God, to the north, south, east, and the west today, God. Thank you for the angels of the Lord that encamp of around about them that fear the Lord to deliver them, Lord God. Thank you, Father, for being a good shepherd, Lord God. And thank you for making us to lie down in green pastures and leading us beside the still waters. And oh God, thank you for restoration today and renewal today, God. And replenishing us today and reviving us today, God. Oh, yes, Lord God, our next chapter reads different, Father God. Thank you for blessing us, Lord, to declare and decree your word over our lives. And thank you, Lord God, for blessing us to be fed up with yesterday, Father God. We want the fresh. We want the new, Father. We want what you said that we can have, oh, Father God. We want to see your influence, Lord. We want to see your handiwork all over this land, Father God. We want to see people protected from danger, seen and unseen. Oh God, we ask you to alert us to the unseen dangers that's in the air, God. Alert us, Lord God, to the unwritten script that's written in the air, Father God. Alert us, oh Father God. Show us how to protect ourselves, oh Father God, and protect our loved ones, oh Father God. And God, we want to thank you for the weapon of the scriptures, Lord God, that you sent your word, Lord God, to heal and deliver us from all destruction, that we can declare the word of the Lord over our children, oh Father God. And we can tell them, Lord God, we are praying for you today because God said the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous Avail of much. God said it matters when we pray. God is yes. a God that yes. answers prayer. He said, if we pray, if my people will call by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn 
from their wicked ways. Then I shall hear from heaven and heal their land. We're praying today. You go out there and you go forth and you do what you need to do today. You do what God will have you to do, but to know that the God that we serve will be with you. The God that we serve will be watching over you and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Know that when we declare and decree a thing, the Lord will establish it because he will hold no good thing from those who walk up rightly before him. So we're praying for you. Oh God, we thank and praise you, Father, that you're not giving us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and of a sound man. We thank you for a sound man today, God. We thank and praise you, oh Father God, for your blessings that make a rich and out of no sorrow. God, we pray for all families that may have situations going on, God, that they don't know how they're going to handle somebody may be dealing with a medical issue somebody may be dealing with a uh 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 how they are going to pay the house note. Uh, somebody may be dealing, Lord God, with legal situations in the judicial system, oh, Father God, uh, other issues, oh, Father God. But, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you dispatch, oh, Father God, your supernatural help uh, to these families, Lord, to these mamas, these daddies, Lord God, to these children, Lord God, and those that are incarcerated, oh, Father God, we thank and praise you for mercy and grace. Uh, one day, God, we were in captivity to the enemy, God. One day, Lord God, we were incarcerated in the kingdom yeah. of darkness, oh Father yeah. God. And you sprung our bay, oh God. You got us out of trouble, God. We were guilty, but you brought us out, oh Father God. Oh, we do know about a God of compassion today. We do know about a God that would do the unusual today. We do know about a God that would do what men don't expect him to do. We do know about a God that's merciful today, God. We cry out, Father, for mercy, Lord, in behalf of these families, Lord God, wherever yeah. They had God that you would meet them at the point of need, God, whether they're in the doctor's office, the hospitals, Lord God, the schools, oh Father God, on the job, oh Father God, flying in the air on an airplane, oh Father God, or whoever, Lord God, they're dealing with legal situations, Lord God, children incarcerated, oh God, children in other kind of situations, Father God, we do know there's a merciful God today that cares, oh Father God, and that we do know you say you have not because you ask not, oh yes, God, we're praying for these families, God, that we will hear testimonies, Lord God, how you, Lord God, bless them to overcome, how you bless them, Lord, Lord God, to arise, how you gave them the victory through situations that men said was hopeless, oh Father God. Oh, God, we thank and praise you. This is an hour where you get your glory, God. And every story, Father God, brings about a glory, oh, Father God, that you are involved in, Lord God. If the leper were here, Father, he would tell you he had leprosy. And because of his story, Lord God, he got glory, oh, Father God. If blind Bartimaeus were here, oh, Lord God, he would tell people about his story, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, walking around blind and could not see but he met Jesus. Uh, oh, Father God, and Jesus, hallelujah, healed him, oh, Father God. Lord, you sent your word today to heal us, Lord God, to open our eyes. We have hope today, God. We thank you that you are the God of hope, oh, God. And Father, we love you, oh, Father. We praise you, Father God. Oh, Lord God, if Israel were here, God, they would tell about the hardship they were under down in yeah. Lord God, and how, Lord God, people begin to pray, Lord God, and how, Lord God, you raise up a deliverer. You bought them out, Father. And, oh God, we look at your power today to know, God, that we can get into scriptures and we can declare the word of God over the situations, Lord God, that we face and others are going through, Lord God, and that word, Jesus, that word will spring our bell. That word, God, will raise us up. That word, God, will bring us out of our comfort zone. That word will Cause us to walk on the water. One word from you, Father God, can do it all, Father. God, we love you and we thank you for your heart, your heart, your heart, God, your heart right now for your people, God. We bless you, Lord God. We thank love you, God. Father. Thank, thank you, God, for this awesome day. Thank, thank you, you for our next chapter, thank Lord God. God. It's going to read glorious, Father God, because yes. we are hungry for you, Father God. Thank it's going to read glorious, oh, Father God. And we thank you for George from Kenya, Father God. Yes. Oh, bless God. George says, pray here. Many people are going without food. God, yes. to pray for God to provide for them. Father, in the yes. name of Jesus, who thank knows, you. God, if we're here in this spot right now for such a time as this, Lord God. For George's petition, Lord God, that we would pray, God. 
Oh, Lord God, she said, people there are going without food, Father. We lift this up to the God of heaven, Father God. We lift this up, oh, Father, to the God that told us, Lord God, about being compassionate and, and remembering the poor, Father. We ask you today, God, to remember the poor, Father. Remember those that are in Kenya, Lord God, with no food, God. Remember those that are here, God, that are dealing with life issues, Father. We ask you, God, to remember, Father, oh, God. God, you, God, who have all power in your hand, you, God, that's anywhere, God, you, God, that can do anything. We ask you, Father God, oh, God, do something, Lord God, let the, let, Lord God, the answers tickle uh, and touch Joyce's ears, God, that she will know yeah. that you moved out supernaturally in yeah. this prayer, Father. Raise up people, oh, Father God, with a heart to give. Raise up organizations and resources, Lord God, supernaturally. Leader, Father God, let people run into provisions and run into finances, Lord God, and let people get blessed that they can bless their neighbors and bless others, oh Father God, and do for others, Father God. You know, God, you're the God that rain manna down from heaven for Israel, Father God. Oh God, you can rain down provisions, Lord God. Oh God, you can send in the wagons, Father. Oh Lord, but we thank you, Father, because we know, God, that you're going to answer these prayers, oh Father God. Oh, Father, we bless you today, God. We honor you today, God, for remembering Joyce's petition, Father God. We thank you, and God, we praise you today, oh God. Bless Joyce, Lord God. Bless all those that stop by online, oh Father God, that stand with us, Lord God, for a moment or two or however long, Father. Let your hand be upon them. Bless those that were thirsty enough, Lord God, to tune in just to watch this video, God. Even as if it's a portion, Lord, reel them into your presence. Thank reel you. them into your goodness. Let it be a hook, God, and let your fragrance be loose upon them, Lord God, and rain down upon them like a cloud, God. Oh, yes, Lord God, rain down over us and over our homes today like a mighty cloud, Father. Let the breath of your spirit breathe upon us today, oh God. Blow out all anxiety and worry, God, the cares of this life, Lord God. Let them be far from us, Lord God. Let us cast every care upon you, Father God. And let us go forth with the peace that pass of all understanding. Right where you are, we just want you to receive God's peace that pass of all understanding. At the count of three, we are going to receive God's peace. He wants us to have it. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you for the heavens being open. And you raining down upon our land. Yes, yes. We just release and declare the blessings of the Lord upon you that make a rich and add of no sorrow. Thank you, God. We declare and decree that God is increasing you more and more and your children. We decree and declare that God is doing the fresh and new in your life right now. Your chapter is exciting, is adventuresome, and God is being glorified in this chapter. Yes, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Even as the pages turn day by day, God is doing the fresh and new because you are one that's seeking God. You are one that's hungry for more. You are one that's praying, asking God, more God, more of his presence, more of his power. You're not just asking for stuff, but you want people to be blessed. You want God to use you that you can be a greater blessing. God's going to do that thing, praise God, because he knows that he can use you to be a blessing to others, praise God. This is your season. You be encouraged today, praise God, and it's not too late for that thing. So don't ever give up on God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. My sister, you go forward. Last words or whatever God leads. Amen. Amen. Oh, and just thanking God today, prophet, that he is the anchor of our soul. And just thanking him that he is mindful of every aspect of our life. And, uh, you know, whether we're hungry or not hungry or whether we have $5 to put gas in our gas tanks or uh, whether we have a, a little bitty head cold or not. You know, he's always mindful of his children. And uh, so we're just grateful today for this opportunity 
and for what's gone forth on this day. And uh, knowing that he is steadfast and unmovable in our lives and he will take us through the storm. Amen. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Well, George, it's so wonderful to see you. Deborah was in for a moment. I don't know. She might have to uh, get back to uh, dealing with what she was dealing with, but we bless God for Deborah Amen. and for Anna that was on earlier. And we bless Amen. God for Val and uh, for our um, young man from uh, India, um, Shamoon. We bless God for him. Praise God. And any others we might have uh forgotten or didn't see back there praise god god yeah. bless you you yeah. you and Amen. so we are out of here with our uh we're on our next chapter praise god and i'll be thank god praise god for it it's ex it's going to be exciting read today we're going to get much yeah. accomplished today and you yeah. know i what i love cindy is you know if when just getting let's just say getting your place in the place of peace and in god's presence yes that's a great accomplishment. Yes, you know? yes ma'am. Giving yes, God his world back and let God deal with the yes, worries and the care. Deciding Amen. today, you're going to do like Jesus wants us to. Let not your heart be troubled, neither yes. let it be afraid. We're going to go carefree today and let Jesus, uh, we're going to trust God. We're going to trust Amen. God. Don't add to the Amen. script. Don't try to explain it away, but just trust God. Yes. Oh, that was a book in the library of heaven that God showed us. Remember? trust god he said yes. trust me trust me we're gonna trust god today let's don't add mm -hmm. to the script but let's don't take that worry back uh-uh trust mm -hmm. god cast that care upon god give it to god and don't let worry come try to nag and pull on you don't let stress yes. come back in there praise god peace god wants you to have his peace Amen. keep his peace Amen. embrace his peace that's for you yes. that's from god to you to keep yes and think yes. about a God that loves us so much that he wants us to have peace. My yes. yes, prophet. Supernatural peace. Something yes. the world cannot give. Something that we cannot purchase anywhere. It's a Thank peace you. with no hang-ups and no side effects. Praise God. Yes. That pass you know, all in understanding. Amen. Praise God. The God bless time, you right? all. Amen. What, what did you Thank say, Cindy? Oh, as you were speaking, it made me think of something. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, just speaking more of it is written. Yes. It is written. Yes. Yes. You know, God's word is, Ooh, it is written. Yes. Ooh. You know, and written. And it's yes. in the libraries of heaven. My you know, God. My it God. Written. It is Praise written. God. Praise God. It Praise is God. written that Praise we shall have peace. It is written mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we will be the head and not the tail. Mm -hmm. It is written. Yes. Oh, that we will have eternal life. It is written. Yes. yes. Oh, and nothing can ever take mm -hmm. that away. Yes. Oh, in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. So if, that, mm -hmm. if we as people can remember, it's written. That's right. Oh, because yeah. we are the beneficiaries of greatness. We're the beneficiaries. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Oh, in the name of Jesus. That's so good. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Well, God bless you, my sister. I'll see you on the other side. Yes. God bless you, prophet. God bless you all. Yes.